of RA, we've got some more news here regarding Junction 2 Festival that I was actually meant to go to this year. Luckily, luckily, me and my friend decided to um, sack it off because the lineup kept changing. For me personally, the main thing why I didn't want to go to Junction 2 this year was the location. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but London festivals for the most part are pretty shit because of our draconian flipping um outdoor noise pollution laws and regulations that we have in place essentially most festivals can't really set up incredible sound systems because you know local councils have a stipulation in terms of what kind of level of volumes allowed in certain places neighbors complain and then that obviously leads to venues not being able to host the, f the festivals anymore they put a lot of money on the line there's a lot of sponsors involved they just can't risk it so either you go to a festival that's really low in terms of the volume and you have to stand really close to the stage or the festivals don't last that long and they hang around for two to three years and they bounce or they get turned into something else what made junction two really special was that it was this festival that was um, essentially this massive park on, to the west of London, right, west, 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 on the way to go to kind of Heathrow. But one of the main sort of stages was underneath essentially a motorway. And essentially what they were able to do was get away with a lot of sound pollution and noise and volume increase because it was essentially in the middle of a motorway. And the sound, the acoustics was incredible. Legitimately some of the best acoustics I've ever heard in my entire life. And this is somebody who's been to many, many festivals here in London where the sound's been terrible to the point where I've had to leave early. Or you've had to maybe stand super close to the stage. And, you know, you go to a festival, the whole point of going to a festival, open air, enjoying the sun, having a cider, eating some flipping burgers. It's just to enjoy and frolic and have a good time. You don't need to be right at the front of the stage. So the fact that you have to be there to hear it says everything you need to know about how crap the sound is so when they changed the location i immediately was already out i was like you know what i'm done but i was still kind of holding on because you know festivals are some of the best value for money you can get out there in terms of a night out because you essentially get to see all your favorite people play for a fraction of the price but then the lineup kept changing also because of course the, the, the location changed and the date changed and the people couldn't play at a certain date and then I was like you know I'm out and I'm luckily I was able to kind of claim a refund and get money back pretty sharpishly um, but then it seems like now they've completely scrapped it and they're trying to blame it for the transport strikes that are happening and I just think it's because of all the changes they had in terms of location in terms of dates certain DJs they couldn't confirm and then in the end you know they couldn't basically sell enough tickets to make it make sense because the scale of the festival was huge so i'd imagine they would probably you know they had to make sure they in order to break even you have to sell a a huge amount of tickets also and they probably weren't able to do that and from what i've been seeing going out these days post pandemic world and people going to parties and stuff the numbers have drastically decreased since the pandemic even though things have returned to some level of normality the level of people that are out prior to the pandemic to now is just not the same and i don't think we ever will be so i think loads of places are kind of quietly suffering and some of them are able to absorb the cost and i guess junction just weren't able to absorb it it says yeah london festival junction festival has been cancelled for upcoming edition the event original schedule for the 18th and 19th has now been pushed back to next year as four thousand members of united national rail the maritime plan to strike in multiple days this month after a three-year wait, a weekend expected to run at full capacity and a site build about to commence, we are in disbelief at the decision the statement concluded. We know this news will be heartbreaking to you as it has been to us, especially after waiting for so long to get together. We look forward to welcoming you back at Jackson 2, 27, 28 August, with the back of Dock and Fabric later on in 2023. Shit, man. So, yeah, um, terrible for them, I guess. But not surprising really like uh, the clubbing festival landscape has been a bit weird in the uk in general i think post pandemic as great as i said it's been plenty of times i think it's been a really great opportunity for loads of alternative quote-unquote nights to kind of spring out of the blue um out of nowhere sorry and kind of you know um grab people's attention and maybe you know essentially place themselves in the middle of the power vacuum i still think a lot of places in general are just never going to recover because the regular kind of normie punter who would go to these kind of places and fill them out uh, and sell them out have basically moved on to other things they've just maybe grown up they've got kids now they've got other interests whatever it may be um they've just changed as people and it's never going to be the same again and i feel like 
we've slowly but surely got to that point now where people are starting to realize that you know festivals aren't ever going to come back in the way that they were meant to um how we thought they were meant to you know when the when the when the pandemic was finally meant to be over so yeah um hopefully they're able to recover and come back strong again 2023 but you know there is no guarantee of that there is no guarantee of that 